guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy and this chick who we all know by now. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to apologize for the audio in this video. I forgot to plug in my microphone to my camera, so there's a lot of like white noise and background noise, so sorry about that. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Keep watching. So we are risking it all, exposing ourselves through these devices, our phones. We recently got new iPhone XRs, thanks to Sprint. Thank you, Sprint, for uh, convincing my mom after too many mimosas to get these phones, <laughs> so thank you. My overall review so far of the phone is I love it. It's great. I like, you can like, just like tap it and it turns on, which is so cool. I have the white version and she has the black version. The cool thing about iPhone XRs is that there's like a bunch of colors that they came out with and I almost got the yellow one but I didn't I thought I was gonna get tired of yellow so I stuck with white all right let's start so I can't leave my screen apparently on the uh, home screen without like opening it up so I'll kind of show you this is my background um I it's kind of cute I don't know I need to change it I don't even know where to start so <laughs> I have the app I'm, store I use that all the time app store weather mail Apple what why do I have two I guess what I can kind of see is that on this first page I um, set everything up kind of by color so I go from like blue to white to green to silver was that on purpose it was on purpose just because these are the apps I use the most out of like the weird free apps that comes with the phone you know mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. and everything else I don't use is back here yeah, I don't use any of this, and these are all my apps we'll get into later. So my Snapchat, let's just take, oh, there I am. So this is my Snapchat, I'm not gonna show you my username. Wait, doesn't it show up at, <laughs> I think it shows up my username. I think it shows up at the end of my videos anyway, so it's, I guess it's fine. Add me on Snapchat if you want. No guarantee I'll add you back, but still. Oh, the cool thing about this phone, it doesn't have a, uh, home button so I can just scroll up and then exit out of the app like so there it is so now we have Spotify let's just look through Spotify for a quick sec these are my playlists down here now we have my notes oh opens right up to my YouTube ideas this is all my ideas there's a lot and I need to actually come up with some new ones so if you have any ideas Please let me know. I am very quickly running out of ideas, so and I just have a lot of notes. I like to use notes a lot, um, cause I just think it's convenient. Yeah, that's why it's like in the bottom part of my phone. Okay, and then I have my text. Oh, I have to take a picture of the bathroom apparently. Okay. All right. Next, we're going on to Instagram. Everyone, go follow me on Instagram right now. Link is down below in the comments. Oh, look at Sean Mendez. He's so cute. Yeah, this is my Instagram. What I also have is my Finsta, but I'm not going to show you my Finsta. And then I have a fake Instagram, which helps me organize my photos. So as you can see, my next photos will be this when I post it, when I decide to post it. I don't know when though. <sighs> Moving on. So now we have Visco. This is my editing home base for my Instagram pictures. And actually most of my thumbnails too like I edit my photos my thumbnail photos on here and then I transfer them to my computer and then I do all the like tech stuff and stuff yep. ah! <laughs> text stuff and, and stuff stuff and what stuff okay what time is it? I have an interview at 1 30 today guys I'm getting an actual job so yeah um I honestly don't have much here like in my profile and stuff and I follow very little people on Visco, but I don't know. I just really like the way that it edits my photos and the presets and stuff, and yeah, very cool. Bitmoji, I'm not gonna open that up because it has to download. That's simply for Snapchat. And then we have Twitter. I am very unactive on my Twitter. Like literally the only time I go on Twitter is to read a Dolan Twin tweet. Oh my god, there's so many T's. Dolan Twin tweet or something related to school, like stu my student government thing. If you look at my notifications, there's all these like purple star things that is like a, hey, this person that you don't have notifications for and is like friends with a friend posted something just trying to get me to come back on the app, you know? Okay, next is Pinterest, my baby. I freaking love Pinterest. I go in here, 
pretty much every day. Let's look at my boards. So far, the boards that I have created are Europe vibes, which is just very girly, very outfit inspo. I'm traveling a lot this year, so I just need a lot of inspo right now. Then we have summer attire, which is just basically bikinis. And we have a I want to travel board. This is basically very um, posts that involve like just traveling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just girly things, probably the most basic board you'll ever see. It's just girl things you want to Just understand. girly things, yeah. Winter attire, same thing for summer, but just in the winter, yeah, super cute. Screenshots, these are just things I want to save, but I have absolutely no place in my other boards. Concert outfit ideas, I love to go to concerts a lot, and March 15th, me, my friend, and Isabel are going to Chelsea Cutler, and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be posting a lot more on this board soon. Homecoming and prom, <laughs> fall attire, we get it. It's for fall, not winter or summer. Oh, food, I'm obsessed with food. <laughs> so I literally have an entire board for sweets. New York City, this is just New York City vibes. Beach vibes because I went to Mexico. And, and it I has just, a beach. I just made a beach you know. vibe so I can get my inspo and stuff. Okay, moving on. We have Boomerang um, for Instagram. YouTube, my lovely YouTube channel. <laughs> yep, this is my channel. Nice. Oh, my video just posted 14 minutes ago. Go watch it right now after you finish this one. Go watch it. Yeah, it came out last week and this one is out now. So yeah, Netflix, lovely Netflix. Okay, moving on to Hooji. For everyone who doesn't know who Hooji who Hooji is, Hooji is not a person. For everyone who doesn't know what Hooji is, it's kind of like this vintage camera filter app. So let me show you really quick. If I take a picture of the camera, it'll process. And then you come up to the slab and it has this cool like preset and it adds like lighting effects as you can see right there. It adds a timestamp if you want. I have a lot of freaking pictures on here. It just saves to like the apps library. So yeah, I have a lot on here from when I had my old phone. I have Perfect 365, which is a photo editing app. So basically it kind of like smooths out your face. I adjust my color, my eyes with it sometimes. PixArt is um, what I use to like draw on my photos, if that makes sense. So as you can see kind of in this like explore page of the app, there's a lot of cool like cool editing stuff going on that I have no idea how to do. So instead, this is what I do. But Okay, so next I have InShot. So this is what I use to kind of post stuff to my story that's like not typical, if that makes sense. So like when I screen record my YouTube videos, I put them in InShot. Put them in InShot and they'll work like Reduce the size to like an Instagram story size. So you can do photo or video and they both work the same. Snapseed is just another editing um, app. Camera Connect is what I use to get photos off of my camera and onto my phone just through the Wi-Fi thing. And then I have Lightroom CC, which I recently downloaded like a while ago, but haven't used. I haven't used it <laughs> at all. So I don't really know how it works. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a form of Photoshop. Photoshop. Oh, so it's just another editing app. So that was all my photo apps. Now we're moving on to brain apps, which I only have two of, like brain cells in my head. <laughs> exactly. So first is Duolingo. I'm not going to press on it because it has to download. Basically, it's just like a language learning app. So I think I have Spanish, Italian. French, Italian, and Dutch added onto my list and I was really into Italian for like mm -hmm. a while that's like all I talked about I was like yeah. mom I know Italian that's just me living out my Italian dreams because one day I want to go to Italy and then this next one is called life 360 this is not a brain app it's literally a tracking app from my mom <laughs> the whole family has it added so we can see each other wherever we are all the time so yeah so really I only have one brain app and one brain cell. Yep. <laughs> okay, next is my dough folder. Basically, um, it's just apps that eat up my money, even though I have no money, but don't worry. That's gonna change because of my new job, hopefully. So Uber, I'm technically not old enough to order an Uber, but 
I have it anyway for like, you know, the scooters in the city and stuff. Next, I have Dote, which everyone should know what Dote is by now through Emma Chamberlain and Hannah Maloche and all those people. So yeah, it's like a shopping app. I'm not gonna open it up because it's almost getting annoyed, but. <laughs> okay, next we have Venmo. Also cannot use because of my teen card. Next we have ThreadUp. I love this app so much. I love like this brand and website. So basically what ThreadUp is, it's an online thrift store. I'm very soon gonna make a video of all the things I've ever thrifted in my entire life. So it's very obvious I love thrifting. Like literally these jeans I thrifted. I believe, did I thrift this too? Thrifted this. I and think this. I thrifted this too. Thrifted yeah. So thrifting is literally amazing and you can get so many great things for a very cheap price. I feel like I'm doing an ad right now, but I'm not. I just really do love this app. So yeah, as you can see, it's like 75% off, 80% off. And you can literally get like designer things on this app too. So throw it up if you see this, please sponsor me. I would love that we so much. Need money. The next app I have is SeatGeek. David Dobrik. David Dobrik, <laughs> basically, yeah. I don't actually use it because I don't have money. I mean, it's great to like look at prices of things so I can like kind of plan ahead, you know? Okay, next I have Shazam. I think we all know what that is. And then this is my school app. I don't know if I should add, oh, it locked me out. Well, okay. And then I have one game in my entire phone. It's this, it's called um, I Love Hugh. So basically, it's probably one of the most boring games. If I can you, confirm that. <laughs> one of the most boring games you could probably find on the App Store. But like, I'm not a big gamer on my phone. Like, I just, I'm just not. Like, I try to download games and I get so bored from things and then I get frustrated, so I delete them almost instantly. So this is probably the only game I've ever had where I actually have continued to do it. So yeah, basically you just um, arrange the colors, see so they get mixed up in a second. You arrange them in the right order. <laughs> I'm so sorry if that's ridiculously boring. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just boring sometimes. I love my phone. I love all the apps on my phone. I need to change my background because it's not cute anymore. Okay, it's Dur Hermanas. Turnio. My background is like very Tumblr-esque, and then obviously I have Tumblr notifications, 42 of them. So, um, I'm not like Lindsay. I categorize my things. I don't categorize it by what I use the most though. I have a file and it's called It's Forced, and it's the ones that you have to have. I have another one, it's called I Love Apple, also the ones you must have. I have one, it's not enough storage, and it's just apps that you have to download other apps. I have a uh, My Money account, and it's uh, negative six M secured because I am broke. Then I have Someone Talk To Me. Um, Cause I'm alone. And it's uh, FaceTime, phone, Gmail, and contact. <laughs> then I have one, it's called My Brain Works. And <laughs> <laughs> good thing I don't have that. <laughs> yeah. Cause it doesn't. <laughs> and it's, it's like notes in um, an app called uh, Writer's Block. And it's like, I, I write, Raps. I am a rapper. She's really can't expose herself. <laughs> no, I am a rapper. Oh lord. Moving on. Yeah. I have things I look at, and um, YouTube. Love to look at that. That was weird. And let me just say something. Yeah. We're both like pretty obsessed with YouTube and YouTubers, and I mean, I feel like. A lot of people this generation are just obsessed with YouTube, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are starting YouTube channels, That's but... true. Okay! Yeah, and then I have one called Fake Smiles, and it's my photography app. I have Fuji. I have Visco. Don't use it. Wait a second. Fake Smiles? That's... Because I... Have you seen depressing. me in a photo? He's like... Let me pull up all my photos real quick. I have a video of Bella eating toes. <laughs> oh, Spotify. This most used app ever, besides Tumblr. So I have songs, and... Guilty pleasures, songs that no one should be caught dead listening to, but secretly love. And I have Taylor Swift, Tegan and Sarah, why are they in there? That's a great song. Rated E for everyone is PG-13 from work. For mom. <laughs> <laughs> or mom, yeah. Yeah, she hates and like then, rap and stuff. I so have Living have For These, and these are this like the songs that like control my brain. I have like 20. <laughs> I have I Belong in the 80s, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. What's, what's your favorite 80s song? Um, Got To Be Real, 
or how does that go? I don't know if it's an 80s song actually, but it's just like a vibe. Or Heaven is a Place on Earth, San Junipero. <laughs> what in the actual heck am I looking at? <laughs> I saw God right there or something. I have 50s and 80s and anything that's not the 90s in the nows. That's not the 90s. Um, uh, school's the reason I'm depressed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, <laughs> I may be boring, but you're just depressing. <laughs> And I have learned something. This is school and driving. So then we have I'm Irrelevant and it's just like Buzzfeed, which I don't know. Yeah, and then I have games and I don't play any of these, so. Games are kind of like, they're kind of like dead space on your phone. Like you only go mm -hmm. on it when you're bored and then you just get frustrated and then you just stop playing it. And I don't know, that's just that's my cycle, but. Well, I don't even start playing it. I just download it and like, oh, this will be fun. And then I. Never play it. <laughs> then I have Instagram. One post. <laughs> one post. She has one post. And then I have a link to my Spotify because I really just want people to listen to my music and tell me that they love it. Cause like yeah, we're both kind of obsessed with music too. Like we listen mm -hmm. to a lot of. I introduce her to a lot variety of, of right. music. Like yesterday, gave you a bop. And then I have no commitment, and it's apps that are health related. <laughs> irony though <laughs> yeah say bye bye so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching me and my sister go through our phones which is low-key kind of boring but still like i'm literally so excited i have a new phone and it's all cute and uh yeah so maybe if you're trying to decide if you want the iphone xr or the xs or xs max or something iphone xr is a great phone so i don't think you're downgrading by getting this phone Real quick, I just want to say, I really want to start kind of pushing my channel a little bit. I've been posting like a video a week, but I think I really want to start, you know, pushing out videos more, maybe try two or three a week. I, it's physically impossible for me to do daily videos, but honestly, I would love to start like growing my channel and see how many people we can reach out to and attract to this gal. <laughs> if you have any video ideas, send me ideas my way. Yep, it's been a great year so far. I have thoroughly enjoyed making videos on this channel, but I think it's time that I really start pushing out more content more consistently. So yeah, be excited, be prepared. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please follow me on Instagram, um, on Snapchat if you want to. Follow my sister on Instagram. Um, I think I also have my Visco down there. Maybe my Pinterest, I'm not sure. But okay, I'll see you guys next time. Me and we are animals, I feel it feels so cold inside my head